Okay, now when you put yourself forward as part of a sponsor of a competition such as C3, obviously my role in that, even though I missed a hell of a lot of the competition because I wasn't subbed to the channel, good good sponsor I am. <laughs> Very responsible sponsor, bravo APOC. Yeah, but I kind of, uh, I caught the last video which was tweeted out, which had my name in it, and obviously I saw the winner, who was a, a guy called Cavis. Now, when I'm asked to put their video on my channel as part of their prize, there's an element of excitement for me, and hopefully an element of excitement for them, even though it's never quite happened yet because the one who won the last one never came forward with the video, disappointedly. When I watched this one and I went over to the guy's channel who won, and he's a guy called Cavis, I suddenly thought, wow, I'm excited to have his commentary on my channel. I'm excited to have his video on my channel because I know that the people who watch me are the people who would enjoy this and who would actually really appreciate that they've found some new talent. And also reminds me a hell of a lot of loyal patriots and I know a lot of my subs love the loyal patriot. So the best thing I can do really is to hand it over to him and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and if you do, go over and subscribe because I think we've got a bit of a future star in our hands. The Cavis. Apocalypse done. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Cavis here coming at you from Apocalypse's channel. I'd like to start by saying thank you to Apocalypse both for the introduction and for sponsoring the C3 tournament by allowing me to post a video on his channel. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much. I love your face. It took me a little while to figure out what I wanted to talk about just because I would hate to look back and think that I used this opportunity poorly. And so I figured the best thing to do would just be to tell you about me. Some of the things that I like, some of the things I dislike, what I play, what I post, how I dance, that kind of thing. I don't really dance. I do dance. I don't. Don't worry. I'm not going to dance right now because you can't see me and that would be dumb. And I just don't feel like breathing heavy right now. And so we're off. My name's Cavis. I'm a husband and a father. Daughter's almost four. It's crazy. I don't have a lot of time on my hands between work and family, so I do YouTube as a hobby. It's a way for me to vent, to create, and just forget about the day. Not that every day is terrible, but I do do customer support and order entry. So you sometimes just want to shoot yourself in the foot. If every now and then you find yourself wanting to shoot yourself in the foot, let me know in the comments section what you do. Maybe we can talk each other out of that bullet. What do I like? Well, first, I love video games. I've played them forever. Maybe not forever, but probably 96% of my life. I love one-liners. There's nothing like just throwing a one-liner out there and your wife completely ignoring it. See, I think that they're my skills and she should appreciate them. She just views it as a nuisance. I like to party. I won't lie. I've partied some in my life. Sometimes I've partied harder than other times, but you know what? It's all in good fun. I really like motorcycles, because freedom. I like sandwiches. I like sandwiches a lot. I don't know if it's because it's delightfulness in between bread. Yep. But you can make a sandwich out of anything, and it's pretty much going to be delicious. I love all of them. Except the little ones. You know, I'd actually take a little one if it came with a grouping of other little sandwiches. Perhaps some dipping sauces as well. I like trees. Trees are pretty popular for me, mostly because I like to breathe. And trees really help us do that. So let's, let's give a high five, drop a like for trees. I love making it awkward. I don't know what it is, but for some reason there's something about making someone feel slightly awkward, or greatly awkward, that makes me giggle. For instance, the first time I met my now boss at the interview, the first thing I said to her was that I was sorry my pants were distractingly tight in the crotchal section. She blushed. I got the job. So obviously, girl likes tight pants. Yeah, I can't blame her. I like tight pants too. I just don't like them on dudes. What is that craze? Why are there so many tight pants in the world? What happened to nice comfy pants? Not, hey, look at these veins pants. Run. I don't want to look at your veins. I never want to look at your veins. Ridiculous. Anyway, sorry. What do I not like? I don't like dicks. Not the general kind, but the actual person kind. No need to be rude. There's no reason not to be nice to people. I'm easy going, I roll with it, whatever. If someone has an attitude, that's cool, high five to them. Let's move along. What else don't I like? I don't like Brussels sprouts. I will eat pretty much anything. But if you give me Brussels sprouts, I will throw them at your face. I also have a hard time handling the shortened words. Where instead of writing the word great, you see a G, an R, and the number 8. Why? I really don't know. But I, I typically can't respond to text messages in such format. It's just a thing. It's a little quirk. That's cool. What do I post? I post commentaries, unboxings, gameplays. A lot of just having fun with friends. That's what it's all about. If you didn't have fun when you played video games, they wouldn't be here. So I like to embrace that. Sometimes I like to throw stuff and play games like... Call of Duty. 
which I played a lot of Call of Duty up until the last two years, well, a year and a bit now. So I'd like to just take a little step to the side and say thank you to Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games for allowing me to branch out and play other things. It's been a lot of fun. Gracias, mi amigos. I'm not Spanish, I'm actually Canadian and American. You can call me an Americanian if you want to. So what do I play? Well, I play Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, previous iterations of Call of Duty. I will play Ghosts, and I will play Advanced Warfare. I'm just waiting for them to sort some things out with Advanced Warfare. Leg! And then I'll be up in there. Up in there. Sorry. I got gangster for a second. Play Grand Theft Auto, both 360 and the Xbox One version. I love it. It is so much fun. Just because there's so many random things that can happen at any given moment. If there's something you want to do in that game, chances are you can do it. And that is glorious. I also play DayZ. DayZ is wonderful fun. It's buggy as all hell, but it's wonderful fun because again, like Grand Theft Auto, I have no idea what's going to happen from one encounter to the next. The person I meet, they could give me a can opener, which is extremely rare in this world. Or they could shoot me in the face. Or they could just provoke a lot of zombies, give me aggro, and then let the zombies kill me. Maybe they just don't want to be the bad guy. But that's pretty messed up. But hilarious! Now obviously there are more things that I like, there's more things I dislike, there are more things that I play, and there's potentially more to me than what I've revealed to you in this video. However, to get that, I hope you'll come over and check me out. It's youtube.com forward slash iKavis. It's on screen now, it's in the description. Pop over, say hello. Tell me you found me on the Apocalypse channel. So once more, I'd like to say thank you to Apocalypse. If you guys would, please drop in the comments section a huge thank you. Just let him know that he's loved and appreciated. If you've enjoyed yourselves, tickle the like button. You know, if you want a beard tickle, let me know. I've got a beautiful red beard, and I will tickle you with it. Not awkwardly, unless there's money involved, but then that's prostitution. That's a whole bunch of different things right there. So let's just focus on tickling the like button. Maybe getting a beard tickle if you're lucky. And until next time, guys. Bye for now.